Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Brick Games where we cover everything LEGO gaming and welcome to part 9 of our LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy playthrough. This time we're going to be doing the third level of episode 6 called Speeder Showdown. So let's go ahead and get started. Replay story. Let's do this. Alright, so in the last one we finished up the second level of episode 6. Now we're moving on to the third level. And alright, this one's called Speeder Showdown Chapter 3. The Rebel Alliance has learned of the new Death Star and launched a daring plan to destroy this evil weapon before its construction can be completed. The rebel fleet is readied for an on uh, assault and a small strike of units on the nearby forest moon of Endor. Led by Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, their mission is to destroy the shield generator which protects uh, the deadly Imperial space station. Alright, let's go and get started with this level. Uh, and there we have uh, Darth Vader's ship there landing here on Endor. And there we have uh, Luke and Leia. I guess that's not Darth Vader's ship, it's just like an Imperial shuttle, shuttle, right? I guess Darth Vader rides on them sometimes. <laughs> I like how she's like telling him what to look at. Oh man, that's, that's funny. Oh man, Luke, you just fell over, man. You're supposed to be a Jedi. Why is like Leia able to be more professional than uh, Luke? I guess it's uh, foreshadowing how Leia later becomes a Jedi like in between episode 6 and 7. Unfortunately, we never got to see that action in the movies, but hey, what are you going to do? Alright, but in this level we get to play as uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, wait, Princess Leia needs to get on here. But in this level we get to play as Luke Skywalker indoor version, which is always fun. Let's destroy this, and we'll build this platform up. So basically we're going to work to get Luke and Leia over these big logs here on indoor because, of course, indoor is full of trees and whatnot. So to do that, what you want to do is stand on this thing, and that will raise up the platform for Luke to get across. And now he can use the force to build a ramp of this platform. So very good. It's like, I'm not sure why Leia couldn't have just used a buildable there and built up the uh, the debris. I don't know why we had to use the force on it. But yeah, I guess in these older LEGO games, there's some things that you can only use the force on and there's other things that you have to build. Uh, whereas in the newer games, I think they kind of just made it all the same thing. Like if it's a character that can use the force, they'll build it by using the force. And if it's a character that can't use the force, they'll just build it the old fashioned way. But in this game, it's a little bit different. There's like specific things that can only be done with the force and only be done with building. But anyway, just a small little uh, gameplay aspect that I noticed. But yeah, this is actually a pretty cool level. I don't know, some people don't like this level. I don't mind it. Uh, it's kind of got a, a little sequence you have to go through. So basically what how this level works is you're going to do these speeder sections where you're shooting down uh, stormtroopers on speeders. And right now we have to do two. I just took out the first one. And I'm about to take out the second one here. So basically just keep shooting forward and during this section you're just going every now and then to do a loop like that you want to make sure you're staying behind the stormtrooper speeder so that you can shoot them um, but yeah basically this level is just a cycle so after you take out the enemies in that little circle that whole area the whole speeder area is just uh, one big circle by the way uh, you're then gonna be stopped to where you're gonna have to battle some stormtroopers and you're gonna want to get into a vehicle and destroy the shield generator oh, don't do it like that don't get lit up by the sneaking stormtroopers I'd recommend taking out the stormtroopers first if you want to play it smart. Okay, let's take out these guys. Come on. And they'll just comp like repeatedly try to get into the um Wow, Luke! Did you guys see that? His lightsaber literally would not lock onto the stormtrooper. Wow. Like he just kept swinging right around the stormtrooper. Look at that. As soon as you get one out, the next one jumps right in. Like they do not want you to get inside the ATAT. All right. Let's get inside, or the ATST, I guess these things are called. Alright, but yeah, once you get inside one, take out all the stormtroopers, destroy the shield generator, and you can see right there, there's four things we need to destroy, so that's how many times this cycle is going to go through. So once you destroy it, then you're going to move on, and you're going to go back into this loop that we were in before. This time we have to destroy three stormtroopers, and I think it increases each time. Um, but yeah, just make sure they're ahead of you, so that you can shoot at them. Right there, they just tried to slow down. They try to get behind you so they can shoot at you, but no, don't let them do that. Just hit, hit the jump button to do a spin move to keep them keep them safely ahead of you. You can see here they like to do... Look at that. As soon as you start doing some damage to them, they do that little loop. Alright, so that's two, and then I think the third one shows up, because I think only two can appear at a time. So we have this one left here. And again, we're just going through a loop, and after we take out this guy, yeah, he's going to do a nice loop, as usual. 
And there we go. Okay, so after we take out this guy, it's then going to stop us at a different location. It's a different shield generator, and there's some stuff you have to do each time to get the shield generator destroyed. So this time we actually have to build our own ATST. That doesn't just give it to us, so there's the feet of it. And then to get up, we have to build up the rest of it now. Let's see here. This down like this, and we're just going to kind of ignore. <laughs> we're just going to ignore the storm stormtroopers for now. We don't care about them. All right, now we need Leia's grapple hook. I guess I could turn on the force grapple leap extra, but eh. We're not going to use extras in this playthrough. And let's pull that. And that will lower down the rest of the components for the ATST, and then we'll build it, and then we'll be done with this little section. So, very cool. So now you guys can kind of see if you haven't played this game before. I'm, I'm sure most of you have played this game, I imagine, but... You have, if you haven't played it before, this is kind of how the level works. It's just one big cycle. And yeah, it's kind of, I like it because it's unique. You know, it's not like any of the other levels in this game, that's for sure. And I think it uh, adds some variety to LEGO Star Wars 2. Alright, so now that we have the ATS 2, we can go ahead and just... Why are you shooting over there? God. And I tell you, man, there's some quirks in these old LEGO games, man. And boom, that's the second one destroyed. And so we just got two more to go. And now you can pretty much ignore these stormtroopers that spawn in. Just get to the speeder to continue that little cycle. And here we go. I like how the force field just goes down just because you get on a speeder. <laughs> it's like, that makes sense. Okay, so now it ups it a little bit. Now we got four we got to take out. So we'll have to do two cycles of two here. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's how this level works. It's a pretty good level. Let me know what you guys think of this level. Do you like it? Or do you hate it? Because I know this is like... There's some people, I think on my... I made a top five worst Lego Star Wars levels. I think some people in the comments were saying like they would have put this level on the list. I definitely don't think it's that bad. Again, I think it just adds variety. All right, now we have two more stormtroopers to take out here. I guess they're actually scout troopers, aren't they? Is that the proper term? I'm sure somebody in the comments would be like, actually, those are scout troopers. The scout troopers are stormtroopers, right? <laughs> okay, so that's the third one taken out, and we got one more. He's smoking. He's almost gone. Do a loop. And there we go. Okay, that's all. Wow, I blew myself up. Oh, I lost two studs. Like, it really matters, so. <laughs> Alright, so wow, it just gives us the ATST on this one as well. So it makes things a bit easier. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get taken out really quickly here. Let's see. Wow, I was able to do it without getting taken out. <laughs> well, this stop was pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, we, once we did that, we can just get out of here. And there's actually a mini kit... At least one, I think there's one mini kit at each, at each one of these stops, so. Again, you can follow my mini kit guide. I have a mini kit guide for this level. Just look it up on my channel. Uh, it's the complete saga version, but pretty sure it's basically the same as, uh, as this version. There's, obviously, there's graphical improvements and things like that, but for the most part, it's the same. Alright, so now we got to take out five stormtroopers. It just keeps upping the amount. As if that makes things any, any harder. Alright, so yeah, we actually saw uh, some speeder gameplay in the Skywalker Saga, and it actually looked kind of similar to this, like, obviously, in the in the gameplay trailer from Gamescom back in late August, uh, there was some uh, gameplay of this, and it looked like mostly the same, obviously the graphics were way, way, like, way, way better, and then the camera was, like, pulled in closer, like, the, with the new third-person perspective, um, but, but yeah, it, it looked, like, mostly the same, it looked a lot more cinematic, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, should be, this should be a fun section in the Skywalker Saga as well. I don't know what kind of improvements they're going to make, if it's going to be a similar situation to this, where you're kind of riding on the speeder, then you stop, or if it's just going to be a, a, a different type of uh, setup. Who knows? But yeah, we'll have to wait till we get some more gameplay. Look look at my health right now. I have zero hearts. What the heck? Like, all my hearts are fa- Am I invincible? What? Look. I can't die. And just to prove it to you guys, look, I have no... Invincibility is not on. <laughs> wow, I somehow glitched the game. Let me know if you guys have ever experienced this glitch. Wow, I'll take it. Look, I'm not even flinching. Because I think on Invincibility, you still flinch when you get shot, don't you? Dude, I'm like, literally like Ghost Luke. Well, I'm not a ghost, because I guess they still... Can I build and get shot? Okay, no, I, I still can't build and get shot, so... It still stops me, but... Wow, I've never seen this happen before. Yeah, my hearts look like I'm dead. Like, it's showing that I have no hearts, but I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you guys have ever encountered this glitch. I imagine most of you guys have played this level on the complete Saga version, so... It's, uh, probably... They 
I imagine if this was a glitch, it wouldn't have been in the Complete Saga version. But uh, yeah, if any of you guys have played the LEGO Star Wars 2 on Xbox 360 like we're doing here, maybe it has to do with the Xbox One backwards compatibility version, I doubt it. Uh, but yeah, wow. Invincibility for free. No, you don't have to pay a million studs for the invincibility extra. Just get it right here. <laughs> okay, so now we have some... Okay, let's see here. Let's uh, use the force on this. And yeah, every time... So the hearts are correct when I'm in the ATST, but when I jump out, I go back to being invincible. Huh. Very interesting. We discovered a glitch on camera. ATT Games, are you going to patch this glitch? I doubt it. You're too busy working on Skywalker Saga. They're going to go back to a stinking 16-year-old game or whatever, the 14-year-old game. Oh, man. All right, so with that destroyed, that actually takes out all four of the shields. So now we can go ahead and progress through. Very good. So this little area that we're in right now, this last area that you stop at, is actually the first area from the beginning of the level. Uh, but there was just obviously this big force field that you couldn't get past. And uh, yeah, so now that we have this last section here, this is uh, getting up towards the end of the level. It's just one kind of finale to the level here. And all you gotta do is pull these two switches right here. You don't even have to use, you know, build that grapple point. All you have to do is pull these two switches. I'll give you an elevator to get up here. And let's see here. Oh, do we actually need Stormtrooper or no? Oh no, you just have to get up here. Okay, yeah, the Stormtrooper thing's for a mini kit. That's right. All right, so you actually have this cool boss fight against an at, -AT here. I, th I think this is, this is a pretty cool section of the level. Um, so basically there's gonna be four shield generators. And you wanna lower all of those just by pulling a switch, very simple. And, okay, we got some Stormtroopers here we need to take out. Take you out, take you out. And I think you might build it. Yep, you can actually destroy the spawn point of these Stormtroopers, so I like that. You know, anytime you have a bunch of infinite enemies, just destroy the spawn point if you can. Of course, that's not always the case in this game, but it is a lot of the time. Okay, so I destroyed their grapple points, I think. Yeah, so now we just have the AT, at to worry about. So we're going to continue to pull these force fields and lower it so we can take out uh, this whole thing here. Alright, so once you do that, once all the force fields are down, you're going to want to get on this center platform, and this will actually jump you into the uh, at, at here. And, like, I don't like I don't know what happened to the stormtrooper that was operating it inside, or the officer. But, yeah, he just disappears. Like, you're just kind of inside of it now. She's commanding it. <laughs> I guess Luke takes him out instantly. Who knows? Uh, but okay, so we're just gonna rotate around and you just destroy these little generators here, whatever these things are, these spinning things. And that should... Oh, no, not yet. There's two more switches you have to do the pull end off the level. I forgot about that. Dang, look at that force jump Luke just did. Holy crap, dude. Imagine if you could do that during normal gameplay, dude. That'd be crazy. Uh, I think that ends off the level, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright. What do you guys think of the indoor... Luke and Leia models there. I think they look pretty similar. Obviously, they look way better in Skywalker Saga, but I think we, we did see them a little bit in the trailer. Uh, but yeah, the whole thing just gets blown up. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And all right, that ends off this level. Very cool. So that was Speeder Showdown from Episode 6 of LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. But all right. So next time on this... Uh, wow, that game loaded really fast. It's very cool. Uh, so yeah, next time we're going to be doing the Battle of Endor level here in part... What will it be? Part 10, I think, of this series? So yeah, uh, quite a bit of parts here. So I'll see you guys then for that. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if you didn't. Let me know why you didn't like it. And also comment uh, any of answers to the questions I raised during this uh, specific part. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe for more. And uh, I'll see you guys. Quick Games out.